Um, on August 9th, 2009, my family and I were uh, coming back from an absolute amazing beach vacation in North Carolina. And as we were taken off, um, we heard and felt this massive boom within the plane and the plane shuddered. Essentially what happened was the pilot came on um, as we had gotten to about 10,000 feet and said to, to, the, to the entire uh, uh, group flying, you know, I'm not gonna pretend that I didn't hear or feel what you felt, I think we may have blown a tire. My head's going, my goodness, what does that mean? So when I looked over my left shoulder, the entire left side of the plane was on fire. <laughs> um, it was at that moment that uh, you either know or you don't know where you're going. I turned to the, to the two that were sitting behind my wife and I told them I loved them. I gave my daughter a hug and I turned and said some things to my wife. And I remember just praying. We got into the crash position and, and from what was a real chaotic situation, I just, I just remember this peace that I had never ever felt before. But I'm a lucky survivor and I'm just, more than anything, I was just touched by God. One final bit, we got back home on July, or I'm sorry, August 10th. When we got home, we had a calendar that sits by the, by the uh, kitchen sink. So the Bible verse that was um, on the calendar was Isaiah 43, one through three. And um, the very last portion of the scripture says, I will bring you through the flames and you will not be touched by the fire.